Can anything good come out of Reno? <laughs> well, it might surprise you to learn that in Nevada's second Sin City, there's news of a revival movement springing up. On a recent weekend, an all-day conference brought together 400 leaders from the Reno area, representing a diverse grouping of 60 churches and Christian organizations. Those in attendance included black, white, Hispanic, evangelical, and charismatic followers of Jesus Christ. And rather than each subgroup keeping to themselves, as one might expect, it was obvious during times of interaction, worship, and prayer that unity and genuine love among all was the rule of the day. In a city much better known for divorce, gambling, and vice rather than selflessness and Christian discipleship, it compels one to ask how such an event could take place in Reno. Who laid the foundation for this amazing event? Upon closer scrutiny, one discovers the answer to be the same as for most other situations where God is at work. Good things happen when Christians hear the voice of God and courageously step out of their comfort zones to move when God calls them to move. It all started with a gathering of believers to pray. The Acts 4 group meets monthly in various churches and has four goals for their prayers. Number one, unity of believers in the valley. Number two, love for one another to grow. Number three, the displacing of the powers of darkness. This begins with repentance, both individually and for the region. And number four, revival to come to the local churches. With that kind of unity and that kind of prayer, can revival be far away, even in Reno?